last but not least is iTunes in the cloud. Well, the first thing we've done, again, is for the songs you've already bought, we've added a purchase button that shows you your entire purchase history of all the iTunes songs you bought on any device. You can look at it by all songs or recent songs, or you can look at it by artist. So I'm going to pick Bob Dylan here, and I can download any of these albums that I've bought on iTunes to this device just by pushing that cloud download button. Or I could go in to one of them and just download whatever songs I want to this device. So anything I've bought, I can now download to any of my devices at no additional charge, which is great. And for the future, I flick one switch to on, and now any song I buy on any device, again, will automatically be downloaded to all my devices. So when I want to buy a song, in this case an Adele song, it will push it to all of my devices. So to give us a demo of that, again, I'd like to invite Eddie up. Thanks, Steve. Let's see what happens when I purchase a new song. And if we can bring up my iPad, I'm going to go ahead and launch our new music player in iOS 5. And on my iPhone, I'm going to go back to the iTunes store. I want to buy a new song. And I want to look at uh, Bruno Mars's new album. That's definitely it. Now, I'm going to buy it. But before I do, notice on my iPad, I don't have any Bruno Mars songs at all. So we're going to go ahead and buy. And it's now downloading to my iPhone. And in addition, there's the Bruno Mars song. And of course, let's play it. So now when I buy a song on one of my devices, it automatically downloads to all of my devices without having to sync or do any work at all. And that's iTunes in the cloud. For your daily dose of tech news, check out CNET's Loaded. It's packed full of the latest tech news highlights that matter to you. Find out the latest gadgets or the coolest gizmos. All that and more Monday through Thursday at CNET.com slash loaded.